welcome to my channel. It's a wonderful plan. I'm Tina. Thanks for watching. If this is your first time checking out any of my videos, thanks for stopping by. And if you like what you see here today, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you very much and welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me using Trendsetter. I love this girl. She's super cute. I'm, it's funny because she was actually an impulse buy, but I just love her now. So I'm just really excited to do this plan with me with you. So what I have here are my pages. I already took them out for May 6th through May 12th. And we've got a few exciting things going on this week. Um, in the Happy Planner world, we have a collaboration with Wrong Wrong. And I hope that I'm saying that name correctly. But I am super, super excited about the collaboration. And I cannot wait to take, hopefully get the planners and sticker books and all the stuff that goes with that collection. So it's really exciting. And that is happening on this Monday the 6th. And then we have at the other end of the week here at the end, we have Mother's Day going on on Sunday the 12th. So a few different things going on for this week. So it's kind of exciting. Now, since I'm going to be using Trendsetter, obviously, if you've looked at Trendsetter, the colors in here are very bright and colorful and just not at all what, what's going on on these pages. So I'm going to be using some washi. I haven't quite decided which one to use yet. I'm favoring the purple. I think that's the one that I want to use. And I just want to cover up the lines. And then I want to cover up these flowers because, of course, those are not going to work with this color scheme. So the other things that I have here and that I use all the time are scissors. This is my little bag of tricks for planning. And I do use this card, and it's just like a simple card. This one, this one happens to be a Walgreens card, but it's just any card, gift card, anything like that to use to tear washi. I have my little exacto knife here. I like this metal ruler because this actually is great when you um, if you need to use something a little sharper edge. My white out tape. I do have some adhesive tape in here, but I don't think I'm going to be needing that this time around. And I'm looking for my tweezers because those are super important. Okay. And the most important key to planning is your drink of choice. And it is morning, so I have coffee. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. So good. Yes, I've only had like one sip so far today. So anyway, I am excited to be doing this plan with me. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and start out by covering up these flowers by using this white tape. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I covered up the flowers at the top there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the purple. I decided on the purple washi, which is actually a good thing because... If I put it right over like this blue that's on here, it actually adds a little bit more blue to the purple. So I like that. So I don't have to white any of these lines out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back from adding the washi on the lines here. And no, I did not forget to do that one. I just thought maybe you guys would like to see how I do it. It's just really simple. And I'm just stretching the washi, the skinny washi along here. I'm using my X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna trim it down here and over here. I try not to extend it too far so that way I'm not like using up washi and wasting it and then just take that off, sometimes with my tweezers, depending. Okay, that is it. We're all covered up. 
I'm excited. I like it. So now let's take a look. And I already had some stickers in mind. And let's see how it works out. So these long stickers generally are great for those vertical planner people that can put that in like one day or you could use it off to the side in like your notes section. But obviously I love horizontal planning. So I still use these because I use that, I'm gonna show you right along this whole part of the week and it is super, super helpful. So then I have just a running list of what I need for the week. Okay, I think that's gonna go down. There we go. All right. So see, so even though it's a long sticker, you could definitely use it in your horizontal planners. And I know it says today on there, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I think I'm gonna do that by adding this little sticker on here. But I don't know if I want like the today to be like coming through because that's what happens on the lighter stickers. You'll see the dark shadow come through. So I'm just gonna switch that out and put this super cute flag on here. Okay, so now I have a running list for my week and I like that. And this is cute. Look at the bright side. I want to put that up here. That's cute. Okay, so this one, I want to use this. Let me see. Let me get the stickers that I want to use for the day. And then that way I could see how I want to place them. So now, let's see.
so I definitely made some changes in here. I didn't really like, it was looking a little cluttered, so I switched some things up, but I'm definitely liking it so much better. I moved some of these hexes around and coordinated the colors a little bit differently. And I changed this big sticker because I really like this one, love this day, and it really matches with the purple really nice. And I'm off on this day. And then I added this cute little like flag down here to do with some little um, star tiny hexes. And then I also added this important sticker with these little hexes down here and coffees. And then I switched this around because it was just looking like way too busy for me. So I was not liking that. So a lot of laying down and moving and switching back and forth. And that's just kind of what happens when you are planning things out. Sometimes you just like, boom, everything lays down and you're happy with it. Other times you're just moving things around. So if you find yourself doing that, don't feel bad because we have all been there and I'm much happier with the way that this looks. So I hope that you guys enjoyed planning with me using the Trendsetter book. And I only use this book with the exception of the Mother's Day sticker, but obviously Mother's Day sticker is not in Trendsetter book. Just a reminder to follow me on Instagram if you're looking for any additional ideas on how to plan out your weeks. I generally post there every day and you will see things there that you won't see on my YouTube videos. I hope you liked this video today. Please be sure to hit the like. Please remember to subscribe. That way you will not miss any of my videos. Hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Bye.